When Bush comes to shove, read between his lips. It's over for the term. Reading between those kind of gentler covert knife blade lips, clenched hidden teeth, the dreaded bite impending. Set to clamp down upon the first occasion of presidential importunity, opportunistically seized in Operation Desert Storm. Yeah, that's what it is, Operation Desert Storm. To blow a gust of obfuscating death into the spellbound eyes of patriots, blinding their vision past confines of the self-deceived. By kicking ass, we licked the wimpy syndrome, reclaimed that ancient honored macho habit making right of might. The syndrome that had lingered since the tragic violation of the NAM, when for the last time since the rise and fall of Nixon, the public psyche fraught with moral scruples recoiled from massive carpet bombings of civilians. Rolling could be referred to by comedian Hope as grandest slum removal project ever undertaken by this charitable nation. When so hilariously he sought to boost the US troops drooping morale by entertaining servicemen abroad. Say, aren't you glad you don't get blood transfusion from those peacenik protesters back home? Let's quote from, um, what's his name? Marco. Be all you can be, fetched the catchy slogan. We used to call it cannon father. For once, they got it right. Well, those who sent the hapless mercenaries to the fray festooned a tinge of guilt with flocks of yellow ribbons set a flutter upon any purchase of convenient prominence in an appalling spectacle of unanimity. Too reminiscent of those single party congresses in single minds and alien nations we claim to utterly disdain. The ass we kicked lies scattered in the desert sand. The 60 mile retreat, beat by defeated troops, cut off and trapped collateral extracted by remote technology, fried on the spot and left to smolder in the smoking sun. The longest barbecue in Millie history, some well, well remunerated wag like hope might feel impelled to quip. The longest barbecue in military history. We do, not, we do not count the dead who did not count when they were living. The names are written in a book we need not ever let the children open. And yet on each awakening in the redundant and interminable process of regressive history evolving, the soul is ground into the dust writhing and agonized whence it attempts quotidian resurrection. 